job. Thanks. It's time to start framing the walls and the bed and the other stuff and running the wires. Hmm. So I started haphazardly putting insulation in these tiny little cracks. We're going to do foam board inside these and then here we've got the 3M Finsulate, which we'll get to later. 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 Look what Alex just did. He stepped on my brush light and did stare. And now, we've burned it all and I have to repaint it so we're not done painting the bus anymore. All my big accomplishments for the day trampled on. Just ignore my feelings, why don't you? I'm in the bed. You're in the bed. Yeah, true. And we could just half the bed, probably. For me, anyways. Yeah. So we're supporting it with two by sixes, which I'm pretty sure is overkill, especially if we put a beam that held it up. Um, but the idea is that we'll have, we're going to turn this six inches in here into storage space. So for right now, we've mounted them just with the, um, these joist hangers so that we can take it, we can just take it out when we need to, so we can work on the batteries and, and such. Um, but we got the first one up. When we did put it up, we used this guy as a guide um, because the sheet of plywood that's gonna go on top is gonna be half inch. So it lines up, not perfectly flush because we're not carpenters, but pretty close. Yeah. So that's the idea. And that it all line up pretty darn well right there. It wasn't a perfect fit. So it's just shaving the sides a little. It was slightly too wide. Uh, pulled over because we had to adjust the mirrors that we just put on. Um, and we bought this brand new and we opened it up. It was not brand new, which would be fine if they gave us a discounted price, but they did not. So we're gonna go sort that, pick up some half inch of this foam while we're at it. That's why I'm in the bus. And, and I'm just sitting on a mat. Back at Home Depot, second time today. We got, oh, well, I guess we put the mirrors back on, but we've done nothing today. Yeah, we set up for a bit. Well, we talked about, we figured our plan out for this whole wall yeah, and that we need this extra foam and all that. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Let's do it. Does anyone else love just like laying on the floor of a car, in this case a bus, but and just like looking up and you just kind of see everything. Just the clouds going by and everything and the trees beside you. I always kind of like that. So on the way back from Home Depot, I just laid down the whole time. I could see out the skylight and the two at the same time with the trees and really cool clouds. Do you guys like that? Or is that weird of me? <laughs> having a great time. And then, yeah, we want it to be in the wood just a little bit. You want to push it a little further? Yeah, just a tiny bit further. That way, if we have to lay anything against it, it doesn't like get in the way. Yeah. The, the... I just cut the back piece for the bed. And Madison pulled out some beers. I packed them.
Yeah, she brought, packed them in these little things with ice packs. It meant for like soup and oatmeal, but. Cheers. Beer will do. It's the Oktoberfest. And it's bomb. Sponsored. I wish. One day. <laughs> Alright, let's put this guy up. I'm laying on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Now we're gonna have a different piece of plywood than this. This one's kind of questionable. But yeah, we put up three joists. We're laying on the bed. Look at my hair. <laughs> I look like a little boy who's going off to get his picture done and the mom like slicked his hair down. Madison's gonna sand some pallet wood and I'm gonna go cut insulation. Working on the walls. So the insulation we're going to be using on the walls is uh, 3M Thin Slate. It's fully, it's about an inch and three quarters. A value of like 5.6 or something along the lines like that. 5.2, 5.6. So we're going to do that. And that glues to the wall using this 3M high strength contact adhesive. We made sure we get the low VOC formula. Um, the high VOC formula, you actually can't we're not in California, but you can't get it in California because it's so bad for the environment. Um, so this is the low stuff, so it's better. And overall, this plus this will be better for the environment than spray foam. Won't be as good as far as our value goes, but it'll be better and it's way cheaper because we got this for free and this was really cheap. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be measuring and cutting each of these sections and I'm gonna start gluing it up and I'm wearing goggles and mask because uh, I actually don't know how this is probably pretty bad for me yeah warning cancer yeah so goggles mask windows open yesterday we started framing and insulating the walls um, we didn't film a whole lot but you know that's how things go it's a Today, I'm gonna continue that process. So, I've got the table saw, I've got some plywood, and I'm gonna cut some thin strips to act as our frames. Well, all of the walls down below, the windows up the side, and above on that side, and same on this side, are insulated with the 3M at the insulate. This is what I've got left, so I'll find some spots for that. I've got way more spots to insulate, but I guess I'll be using that foam board. So, we've got back in here, this wall here, all up inside this, and everything inside here needs to be insulated above the door. 
and above in the back. So I'm gonna have to measure out my foam board. I hit my head again, do that every time. Um, I'll measure out my foam board and see what will go where and if I have enough. I think I do, I don't know, we'll find out. My main concern today was just walls. From floor to ceiling. What do you know? My scrap piece was exactly the right fit for this space. Scratch that. There's actually no insulation um, behind this panel, oddly enough. Kind of goes to right about there, and then the ceiling insulation starts. So it does, in fact, fit perfectly behind that panel. So that's where it's going to go. It's a beautiful day today. I'm actually taking the day off from working on the bus and I'm going with a friend to their farm. She's got this beautiful farmland um, and every once in a while I help her do different things around the property. Um, so I'm going to do that today. <laughs> 